Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I say good morning to you all. Thank you for another opportunity to come to you all with a blessed word. But before I get into the word, I want to share a song with you this morning that I just really believe that will bless your spirit. You know, as you go throughout your day, you know, someone who could be down, who could be feeling discouraged, who needs a pick-me-upper, you know, this morning. I have just a song for you. You may not know it, but I'm going to share it with you anyway. Just listen to the words. Let the words of the song meditate, you know, on your heart, your spirit, your mind, your body, and your soul. And just take it all in and receive it and just know that God is doing this for a reason. God is doing this for a purpose. And he allowed me to share this with you this morning for a reason. For a purpose. Only you know what that reason is. Only you know what that purpose is. Amen. This is Charles and Taylor. You are God alone. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just receive it. Just receive it, my brothers and sisters. Not a God created by human hands. You are not a God dependent on immortal man. And you are not, not a God, God in need of anything we can give. Anything we can give. God don't need us. He does it all by himself. God alone.
God alone. Hallelujah. You are God alone. You are God alone. You're unchangeable, unstoppable. You are God alone. I thought that I would share that with you this morning because no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're feeling, no matter what your circumstances is, just know that God is God all by himself. And he doesn't need you in the midst of your situation, in the midst of your problem. You need God. It's in reverse. God don't need you. You need God in the midst of everything that you're going through. So keep that in mind. I want to share with you just for a few minutes um, a couple of scriptures um, in Romans chapter 8, verse 28. It says, and we know that in all things God worked for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his son, and that he might be the firstborn among many brothers, that those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. Let me repeat that. And those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. Isn't it amazing how God predestines all of us? Each and every one of us are predestined according to God's perfect will, God's perfect plan in our life. You're not an accident. You wasn't a mistake. What you're going through, your situation wasn't by accident. It was a mistake. Whether you made it, whether you caused it, because sometimes God allows us what we would call and he would call free will. So he says, if you want to do it, I'm going to allow you to do it. But in the midst of you making the decision to do something that I probably instructed you not to do, I'm going to allow you to do it anyway. So that way you can feel the wrath of God. And then you, you humble yourself and you go back to God and say, Lord, I'm sorry. I made a mistake because I got, I got, I jumped in front of you. I got outside of your will because that wasn't for me. So how do I fix it? How do I fix it so that I can get back in reconciliation with you? Well, you repent of your sins and you say, Lord, forgive me, you know, and God forgives you instantly. And all of a sudden you're back in his grace and his mercy and it starts all over again. So just thank God for that. Just thank God for that. I thank God every single day that I can be renewed in my mind. I thank God every single time that I mess up, I make a mistake. I can ask for forgiveness. He will forgive me of my sins and he will cleanse me of all unrighteousness and I can move forward. There is no account. He takes no account of the wrongdoing. It's done. It's done in his name. And he said, okay, I've forgiven you, move on. So therefore, we're predestined. So therefore, he calls us to do something. We have to act, you know, according to what it is that he wants us to do, operating in our spiritual gifts that he gives us. Whatever that is for you, you know, I'm operating in my gift right now by talking to you, by teaching and preaching the word of God to you so that you can understand, breaking it down so that you can see that we're all after we're called, we're justified. We're justified because he gives us justification to do what he calls us to do. And so then after that, we're glorified. We're glorified in the Father because we're doing exactly what the Father wants us to do. Amen. Glory be to God that we're justified. So I'm going to skip down. I'm going to go down to verse 37. And it says, No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. For I am convinced that 
nor death, nor life, nor angel, nor demon, neither the present nor the future, nor any power, height or death, anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God. Amen. There is nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing that can separate us from the love of God except for you. You and yourself making the decision to separate yourself from God. Getting outside of the will of God separates you from the love of God in the sense of you can't feel his presence. You can't feel the Holy Spirit falling afresh on, on you. Not until you go back and say, Lord, I repent of my sins. Please forgive me. And then you will feel the presence of God. You will feel the Holy Spirit. So as you go throughout your day, as you go throughout today and have a blessed and glorious day, just think about, you know, how God renews you. He renews you. So all things that are old are gone and the new is here and the now. And how he loves us so much that he said we're more than conquerors in him. We're more than conquerors in him. He loves us so much that he died on the cross for our sins. So, you know, God bears all all of our burdens, all of our problems, all of our situations, all of our circumstances. And so if you're trying to figure it out, don't do that. God already has it worked out while you're trying to figure it out. All you have to do is pray, submit yourself to God, and he will give you instructions on how to deal with your situation. Allow God to step in. It's all by God's grace. His amazing grace that he does what he does each and every day for each one of us in our lives. You know, I just want, you know, the Holy Spirit all over me each and every day. And as I come forth and I do what I do in the ministry, you know, I want the world to know that the love of God is just so embedded in my spirit that no man can separate me from the love of God. I don't care who I encounter. My first and foremost encounter each and every day is God. Being in the will of God, knowing what the Father wants for me, and doing what he is requiring me to do, and that's to speak, teach, and encourage and inspire his people because we all go through trials and tribulations but he said trouble don't last always so keep your hand in the father's hand and watch him guide you through the process of whatever it is that you're going through be encouraged my brothers and sisters and know that you are not alone god is with you you are not alone just know you are not alone. God is with you in all that you go through. So you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to wonder where God is in all of this. Surrender to God's will and you will see God work things out in your life. You are not alone. I love it. 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 You are not alone. Amen. Receive it today. Receive it today. You are not alone. I speak life over you right now. If you're going through depression, if you're just feeling discouraged, if you're a little cloudy today, you're not understanding what God is doing or what God is saying, I encourage you to stop and just give time to God in prayer. Whether you're on your job, whether you're at home, whether you're in the hospital, whether you're sitting at the kitchen table, whether you're in your living room, whether you're in the car, you know, if you're in the car and you're driving, of course, you know, you may want to wait till you stop and pull over, amen, um, and be safe, you know, do it in a safe manner. But God knows your heart, you know, he knows the desires of your heart. 
So just know that you are not alone and whatever you're going through, you know, I touch and I agree with you right now that God has his hand on you. He's going to see you through. Be encouraged, my brothers and sisters in Christ. You are not alone. God created, God created you and me. He didn't need neither. He didn't need none of us. We depend on God. God don't depend on us. Hallelujah. Anything we can give by your plan. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. God. God's power is created for you and me. Worthy of all the praise, all the honor. You are God alone. Hallelujah. You're on the throne. You're God alone. Hallelujah. The bad times. You are God alone. You are God alone. Hallelujah. Give it to God. Hallelujah. situation around he's on the throne he's there for you allow him to take care of you unchangeable Un unchangeable unstoppable unmovable he's God alone give it to him that's what God is for me that's what God is for you unchangeable Unstoppable, unshakable. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Have a blessed and wonderful. Thank you, Father. Have a blessed and wonderful day, my friends. You are God alone. Allow God to change your situation. In the bed, you are God alone. You are God alone. You are God alone. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you for tuning in to me until next time.